How's it going? Drew from m and Maple Grove back on a part two of increasing sap yield. Uh, here's a shot of the lines. Uh, this is the, the south side of the property, the four lines that come in uh, to down to the uh, town to the Sugar Chalet that we're in the process of building. And uh, you can get an, an idea of how it's flowing right now. Uh, the trees are basically still still waking up or about uh, about 1230 and uh, Things are really starting to flow at this point, so I just wanted to uh, uh, give you a, a follow-up and see how things are running with the vacuum pump. So uh, this is about the Sureflow 4008 um, uh, vacuum pump uh, used for uh, uh, maple sap uh, vacuum system, and uh, the it, it has really uh, increased the yield that you get. Um, one of uh, one of the greater advantages of vacuum is that um, when you're normally when your gravity lines will go uh, dead on on uh, days when you have consecutive uh, uh, temperatures over freezing, uh, the vacuum will still run. Uh, your your sugar content will drop after a while, but I mean I've noticed uh, a, a drop from two and a half percent down to two percent on on like the third day, and the lines are still flowing pretty well. So. Um, especially if you have a, you know, again, reverse osmosis is uh, another thing that um, uh, really helps with um, s uh, saving with fuel and uh, time. And uh, so, you know, they all work really well together. So, uh, with the, they'll give you a shot of what's going on with the vacuum. Uh, right now, we're up to, so we're over uh, 20, uh, 22 inches. Uh, again, you know, you can hit 27 inches is really the maximum you're going to get on a on a uh, vacuum system. Uh, I, I I mentioned that this was a 24 volt. This is actually a 12 volt uh, pump, and um, that uh, so that's just hooked up directly to a, a car battery. And um, you know, you can you can add uh, th uh, thermostats on it so it's turning on and off, and uh, you know, people install it into a cooler. Uh, to protect it from the cold, but that's a, a project I'm going to be working on myself uh, down the road. But uh, you know, you get a um, you get a really nice flow. Uh, just to give you an idea, we'll go over to the tank. This uh, I don't know if you can see. There's a there's ice floating on the top. There was a, a small amount in here, uh, just a you know a sheet of ice in the morning when I set this up about uh, two hours ago or so, and uh, now you got. Uh, you know, close easily uh, 10, 10 gallons on top of that, and uh, plus. So that's the line. That's the recirculation line that goes in there. Uh, I have a little strainer in there that I uh, will throw in there when I uh, do uh, drain it out with the uh, with the transfer pump. Uh, so, and then the other thing with the with the active, with the uh, with the Sureflow pumps is the. Uh, it's very important to put that that inline filter in. Uh, that's a Sureflow uh, uh, piece as well, and that is, you know, does a great job of filtering out little little pieces. Also, gets uh, it gets cooked up a lot, so it's something that you know I clean out a lot, and uh, it, it shows how much you're you're actually like you know filtering out of the uh, out of the system. Um, so uh, the other another benefit of having this setup is this with this recirculation line is that once you're once you're uh, things freeze up or your battery goes down what I'll do is right now I have to switch out my battery and stuff but uh, I'll, I'll miss it sometimes and the battery will die this uh, this recirculation line will actually all the sap will flow through this line now uh, instead and you know because it's not able to flow through the pump at that point so that works well in that regard so um, so that's uh, just the uh, follow-up of that and uh, you know I hope uh, hope you found this useful and you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to, uh, to, to send them along. And thanks for watching.